Par le bilan Vite, 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 vite Ouais, c'est sûr, c'est sûr Misez 1700 mètres Misez 1700 mètres Ouais, c'en est un C'en est un Faites-le, faites-le, faites-le Faites-le, faites-le Faites-le, faites-le Raté, raté Mise en tête video you just watched likely takes place around the city of Raqqa, Syria in 2016 during the Raqqa Liberation Campaign. French Soft can be heard describing an inbound Islamic State suicide V-Bid, or vehicle-borne IED. During the approach of the V-Bid, we can hear repeatedly the use of the word Milan. This is specifically in relation to the initial weapon system that the French forces attempted to use. Now, although the Milan missed, they were able to successfully deploy an FGM-148 Javelin. Now, most are going to be familiar with the Javelin, but not many will be as familiar with the Milan. The Milan, which is French for kite, is a tripod-launched anti-tank guided missile. It was originally designed in 1962 and accepted for service 10 years later, and it's a wire-guided semi-automatic command line of sight missile. That means that when it's fired, a small wire or series of wires follows to provide the projectile instructions after launch based on where the sight is aligned. This allows for some general movement of the missile while in flight to maintain a direct path to its target. An easy point of reference here would be the TOW missile, or the M41, used by the United States for about the same amount of time. Each of these armaments is designed to pack a little bit more punch than your standard shoulder-fired launcher, with the TOW taking the win between the two in effective range of the latest iterations. The Milan's extended range variant has a maximum of 3,000 meters, while the latest TOW 2B can reach out to 4,500. Even still, Raytheon is currently developing an even further upgraded version for 50% more reach on the TOW. Regardless of TOW versus Milan, I haven't seen a whole lot of footage on the Milan, so I figured you hadn't either. Now I wanted to take 30 seconds of your time for our sponsor and partner AR500 Armor. AR500's Testudo plate carrier is the latest that I've added to my collection. It's also super easy to mix and match the plate and carrier options, all from the same team, knowing full well that everything I'm getting is going to be fully compatible. Lead times for stuff from AR500 can be a little lengthy at the moment, but that goes to show how much demand they have for their products, which speaks specifically to its quality. Now use the code below and go protect yourself. Hit the like, hit the sub, hit the bell, and stay informed.